Mindo madalu ya nyawa nga pitya jago jago jana nyayan kawanga gulil jago madu walja mito. Wal, kuku jual bay, ni aku bay ya, kuih lagu deh wal, wal mana kuku jual jawa leh ya, ngambri wal, pagi ni wal luar, wal curu lalu, pagi ni wal, macam kau bagal bay wal jingga, wal budu ya beranjang wal iya, cai mon, cai mon. Hmm, mai angka ganjil bay, nyingga ngun gungga, ngahyu rongga, kumpi jul bay. Pudai nyaku bay, wal yel day abu bay kalgi, yel day windi, yel day nyina bay, wal yel day nyina ma, no war. Balai jono bay war dil cindu kure nyina, balai jono cawal layera, pagal agam munga jara, cawal layera, munga jara, wey lagu diwa, war. Wiri ding, apa yero? Ma yero, apa yero? Wana pun yero. Fire comes from Jukupa. Those characters and events that created country, its past and present. Fire is a life force, a tool with many benefits and dangers. Today. Mado amongst the last people in the world to carefully walk and burn their country. But burning is tricky, fickle. There are good and bad fires, different effects over time and place. And there are lightning fires. Now, there are huge fires far from where Mado live and can burn. These wildfires can be seen from space. Their light is wider than the area of a city, maybe the biggest fires in the world, volcano fires. My job is to learn from Madu. They ask, what can we learn from old Madu people? What can the country teach us? What can we learn from whitefellas? This film shows a little of what Madu say and do with fire on their country. Melaku jangan jangan kau yang mengurang ganjaran melaku. Mama nu nalo. Kal kunda Wendy balik jangan kau nu pilih. Kunda ring. Ija kelabu. Kal wajan ini jigen waku. Wap ngabil. Kal bilal. Jigen waku wajan. Ngaji belum jual jual jen madu jen ngapi, war kupar nara, ini war kupar nara, lungka dalu, mama dulu, ija kelabu, ikan pun kalau ilgi aja jen, jempu pelat, ini jengka dawa gani, jigen jigen ogo nawa jengka ogo gani, you jempu pelat, tiga mui, ija perikui, ija kelabu, mama berapa, kangkungal ku, berili, jen war dengka, mana yang kau jina ku, malagari ku next time, mana lagi ipa ulawa gani, wajal ku ya mai rival bela. Oh, jadi no kalau apa? Oh, oh, jadi kelabu apa jadi? Jadi kelabu apa? Jadi kurang ni jadi. Yo, ini jualan aku. Jadi kelabu apa? Tetapi kalau luar mana? Kamu jangan jadi orang jil bayar nak pin. Kunci. Kirawiri tells of Madu beliefs about where fire comes from. Jukupa laws teach about greed and the benefits of generosity, sharing the ways to be a good person. Fire is a part of these morals. Older Madu hold other Jukupa about fire. These stories shape the beliefs of young Madu about fire today. Other desert stories talk of relations between fire and rain, forces that are mates to each other. Smoke can bring rain, rain feeds grasses, 
Dry grasses and shifting winds feed fire. There have been powerful changes on Māori lands in just three generations. Different eras shape fire and its use today. From the bushman days of hunter-gatherers to mission days to recent decades when families live in communities and burn nearby to now when Māori rangers work alongside whitefella land managers. Trends are not one way. Old beliefs and skills continue. The past is in the present. From here we go forward. Right, I want to get the wire with him. Wire with him. Never remember. Wire with him, Wanka. Wanka story that wire. One day the wire will be in it. Another day the wire will be in it. And wire will go and do it. Then I'm going to do one more wire with my wire in the middle. These are some of the questions Māori still ask about fires. Where, who, why was a burn lit? Where will that fire travel to? Where will it stop? Where and when not to burn? We wanted to say about the war story. How to all people really protect them. War all the Talk about this war. Or war. Probably, probably the more important thing for mother with them. Still today, like Fire makes a Madu home. In a bush shelter, three campfires once warmed a husband, pretty young wife, new baby old wife and children. Dogs kept warm too. Goanna meat was cooked and stored. Firewood ready by the door. In the Jokopa, and for more than 7,000 years, fire was made for many purposes. What Māori know and do with fire today comes from this long, long time before whitefellas came to Australia. But worry is, you know, most of our old people, you know, can't get a bay. To Mura to Mura and matches, you know, war is more important for Maro people, you know. Told you, Paragu by Dangi, Winter Ram by Barong Yoganel, Everam by Warong Hareno, Main One Badina, Kuega Baraganguma.
Hunting was the main reason to burn country. Fire clears ground, exposes burrows, flushes animals, shows tracks, makes new food grow after rain. No Families burnt their own country. It was wrong to burn other people's country. To burn elsewhere, they asked the owners to do it. On seeing a burn, other Māori could tell what had been collected, by who. There were different burns for different foods. A small burn for a skink, a long burn for a hill kangaroo, a round burn for a mala. In old times, most fires burnt less than a day. Madu had special words for types of fire, its behaviour and effects. After fires and rain, different plant and animal foods regrew. Madu named stages of regrowth. Older burns had older plants, some special for their shade, nectar, or as a home to certain animals. Once, Madu walking tracks crisscrossed the desert. From paths along rivers, ranges, lines of soaks, people lit fires. Areas with little water were rarely visited, so burnt less often. Each burn left a scar, like a footstep in sand, a signature. Over time, lots of little burns made a pattern, like a blanket of little patches. Artworks by Alder Madu show these patches. Old people were expert in the use and control of fire. They'd plan, think, who was where, make sure families were safe. They'd work together to burn, know about the homes and habits of animals they hunted, care for useful plants. They'd look at the type of grasses, how tall, how dry. They'd feel the wind direction, stand upwind to run a fire. They expected burns to stop, where they ran into an older burn, a dune crest, a riverbed. Old people were precise, like, when the seven sisters are on the evening horizon, then it is getting warmer, winds are changeable and fire is cheeky, so you have to be careful. This time is tulpura, or mulia tumal, when lizards stick their noses out of burrows, about August.
Early last century, Madhu left their desert homes. Some were cleared out. There was an exodus of people and small burns. When Madhu left, more than 18 different animals disappeared and others became fewer. Madhu worry that as old people died, there were less songs and ceremonies for those animals. In the mission era, Madhu country was quiet. No Madhu to make fires, more fires from lightning. The dangerous spirits in country stirred. In the 1980s, Madhu left Jigalong and towns to return to their homelands to live. Pondawari, Pongo, Ponmu, Kunawaraji. Families drive out to hunt and visit places on their country. Now they light fires where they travel, near roads and communities. Small fires that burn for a night or two. The patchwork they create keeps these lands healthier than distant lands. There are more bush foods close to the communities and perhaps more animals that need mixed habitats. Close to Madhu communities, there are more burns and fresh growth, so more foods. The richness of bush foods and biodiversity is interrelated. <laughs> And he comes along and there's another Nyunma, but he can't go around with it mm -hmm. because the Nyunma was there already mm -hmm. from before. Mm -hmm. Because there's Nyunma all over, right around, mm -hmm. the old ones mm -hmm. from last year, then the year before, then the year before, yeah. Nyunos and Nyunma. There's all that number from last year all over here, right through. Yeah. And we know where to go, like a good spot, burning ground, you know. Go look for food. Yeah, we normally go back to the same spot and just, like it's like every year round, we just go back and check that place. Just leave it till the, till the next lot of weeds comes up. When we have a big rain or something, that's when we go back and try to get a fruit or food or whatever. No? We get wamula and chingiwiri, longoda, panajarva, parada, and kangaroo, emu, you know, or sometimes pojiga. This one was burnt last, last year and got lots of wamula rain everywhere, then there, everywhere. And the fresh burnt grain that was a couple of months ago. And Neri came here to look around for Kibra and he found some wamula tree. Worrying 
war or wheel could not have Nagela. Somebody might have broken that, and then we know war or another. And good enough, my little long up or my German and young good. Young Gilevenago, Mart of Mirango, Walang on Yenan. Children by Baran Gumap. No one got the warrior wheel, my wheel and. Well, most of us got stoves, but we're not used to using stoves much. Well, we like to use it, but you know, we like to use it tradition ways, you know, like use a borrow, cook a fire outside. That's when we have everybody sitting around the fire, yawning and you know, having a feed. Sometimes we camp outside near the fire. It's like, you know, well, most of the old people like fire, you know. It's like healing them. When they get cold, they always talk about fire. Even if, even if they in the afternoon, they like talking about fire. As soon as they feel the heat, they can, you know, they know they warm and like get healed. When we go hunting, like in control fire, but first, that just don't go light it straight away, but look at it, how how big it is, and how small, yeah, and how high or tall the grass is. If it's, if it's right to burn it, but you know where it will stop, and it's really good that you, like, control fire. The fire won't get out of hand. In my experience, I just light small fires and not to get out of hand not to go light fire that will be big fire a little fire it may burn for a day or so or half a night it's a small one that's all right but not for weeks and weeks and months and months mm. dry season now coming wet season and it's dry season but a bit worried about lightning lightning set a fire but when the lightning set a fire is out of control it's burn 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 the lightning strike wasn't such a worry for them in those days. They know they already controlled it. Madhu speak of the most dangerous fires in their lifetimes. Huge fires that burn for weeks. The weather is changing, more rainfall than ever recorded. Heavy rains make spinifex taller and wider. And the weed, buffalo grass, is getting thicker. Buffalo fires burn high and spread wide. Even where families make careful small burns, there are risks of accidental fires, and fires from lightning happen too. Now we wanted a rain, but the big falling star went down, and the big lightning came striking over the hill and it started making a big war. And Brianna went across and told Nomo, wake up, wake up, there's a big war on the other side. And he went and told Waka and Waka been singing a song and made that war still. It came for the night. And he woke up, the war woke up, and it started spreading everywhere. It went and went in the morning. Went to Bangor, right across to the fin of wind. We went around, up that way. And it was a really scary one. We was crying, and the people and the little kids was all standing, putting their hand, Mara, for stopping the war. But the world was still coming so fast. We were getting frightened.
Māru lands are enormous, 10% of Western Australia. The burn patches from cool season wildfires are getting bigger. The patches from hot season fires are huge. Madu worry about cemeteries, sacred sites, big shade trees that finish up, meat animals killed by fires and so wasted. They believe the old law people have power to push wind in a different direction or sing fires to slow them. Madu are less familiar with whitefellow views about practical actions to reduce the risks of fire. There aren't enough people and money to look after such vast lands with old Māori ways alone. New ways, skills and perhaps new beliefs are forming. On Maru and Biruliburu lands, ranger groups extend the good work done by elders and families to look after country. Rangers have many jobs. One is to burn country so that fewer wide, hot lightning fires will roar through. Elders, young workers, coordinators and fire officers plan together. Rangers travel from communities to places near and far away. They see scars from wide hot burns, these volcano fires. Some learn to read these scars on satellite images. Different Māru have different skills and priorities. They learn fragments of traditional and modern ways and mix these as they can. Ranger <laughs> Why are they living in the young man? Kalyo, Lobongo, Rajuan, Pagalcum, Lugum, Maeka, Nun Bank, not Kuari, Chulchu, Nayang, Pajiman, Jungajilan, and among you. Well, a Malgo, then Varayango. Non mi ha detto che 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 non さあ、テレビバリーブ。メラジモンガラヤンゴジャゴ。メイケワラワナ。ネイムムンカナモムンカンドリ。タリムノマラジョ。ワウラジョガブゴニャラガジャゴ。メナワロジャゴ。バリー
Play duel pula juga mbak Play duel pula Ngurah dalam bawal pula juga Ikan kambal pula juga Bad lil bit Kabi wala juga mbak ngurah Just went out doing burning Stop Like from big summer fire Hot in the summertime, big wildfire from the lightning might stop it from maybe coming along, come towards us, to the bungalow. You keep a clean area, maybe the big summer fire might come and just stop at the noon mountains. It's really important that we've got connection working with all people. It's more safety issue but places that you can burn and you can't some got secret site and one decide for us it's really it's not about just ranger it's connection learning more but connection with land we need to learn more about country and our people it's like sharing that history and it's working. It's working in Banwar. Yeah, we got more old people just getting involved with us. I like Ranger of the Valley, go over the little Roger with a wild beard in Roger. Go over the deer that is delivered on the Bolero. I don't like to have any Ranger of the Gilad. Go to the Gilad. Go to And we at Calvinga and Yunga, the low grand Magana, and we don't want any war going in there and destroying a Mundo place. Kaja. That's how I do. Yang guni, yang ajar lah jbara dili ni. Jemuran ni dia wajar pe, nana lu wajar ni ni nape? Mora yang orang ni aku pe, mora tu mora kapi bora aku. Yang guni lah jadi wajar pe. Yang orang guni lah tu orang kampri kita lu kari, yang mora bora aku ni aku malap. Waran pun, wajar pun, apa yang gue buat ini benda gue ni. Wah, orang yang apa ni? Yang apa? Cepang kalau jutar kalau yang gue ni, kan gue kalau tu gue depo tu ni. Nara kalau tu kampung, kilo orang. Kilo orang, ah, ngapa dek ade? Nara ade, ngapa dek ade? Kilo beri apa orang ade? Yang lain. Yang awal oleh bi kawan apa ni? Macam orang lah tu kampung, tinggi gue. Baru lagi cuci mana lagi anu, kampar lagi juga nanti. Baik nak kurangi, malak lagi. Baru lagi anu, anu itu meras, beri lagi anu, beri lagi mana lagi anu, kalau jauh top orang mana malak orang, nara kadi nara aja sah. Kalau jauh cepang kita juga ni yang malang, malang. Macam we went out, went out on in the Pujiman. Okay, just working around there. Bush fire was making waro, you know, waro, looking for tracks, looking for um, panda, 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 everything. Tracks, work around and burning waru. Mm -hmm. We showed Indian you know, young people, you know how to how to work, you know. What is called jamanago, you know tracks. Follow now. Madhu and white fellas want to work together. 
Māru to look after their families, keep their country alive and productive. Whitefellas want to protect the animals and plants. We all want to carefully expand Māori burning practices across desert lands. What we're really doing out here, we're learning both ways. Wajbala way and Mado way. I think it's really important because that ne next generation coming up, you know, for them, when the old people pass away, they'll be missing out. It's our responsibility, you know, look, to look after our country and all the animals that are out there. It shows us too what sort of things we can do to protect them and look after them. Yeah, no, it's good. We know what we're doing. We're showing the, um, the next sort of kids that are growing up. You know how um, important it is to take care of our country and all the things that are in it. Young Madu are deeply interested in their lands and the knowledge of old people. The important places, the Jukupa stories, the foods, the animals. They want to learn the skills of burning and to feel the pride of their grandparents. Being a ranger and burning on country has many benefits. It keeps young people away from the troubles of town. It reduces the risks of huge wildfires. Many, many small fires help keep country alive and Madu strong. I think it's, um, that's the only option they've got, you know without going into town and getting yourself in strife and all that, and getting lock up. And that's a good, you know, good program that the kids need to stay in the community and do their, you know, do their works and, you know, doing this part anyway. I think it's a good idea for them. Well, <laughs> Look out, Lord. Lord, Lord.